should have seen first. Bloms, deadly creatures. Keep your distance. They will detonate if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at them. Slain the one known as Fuse. I had no choice. He'd lost his minds, murdered many innocents. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods. They are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. the ones making all that noise up there. Ah, uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? Oh, <laughs> those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. So, what brings you two this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. <laughs> Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for ya. Thanks, Haley. And, uh, just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this'll open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. Makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit anytime you like. I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Hmm, well... My dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadi's forest. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem. So check for Blue Resonance Gates in Abadi's Forest. Need anything else? So, let's talk. I notice it's only you and Maddie up here in the pass. Is it just you two? Not all the time, no. My father still runs the forge, but he's usually away on business. Right now, he's somewhere across the sea, hunting down new minerals and ores. He's always trying to make better weapons and armor. Sounds like he's always pretty busy. Yeah, but... I get along fine by myself. And Maddie too, of course. I meant to ask before. Does Maddie have a pr 
problem with me? What? Well, it's just... He seems to grumble a lot around me. I can attest to that. Lots of grumbling. I really can't say, Dust. Maddie, do you have anything to say? <laughs> well, I hope that answers your question. Uh, not really, but... Let it go, Dust. Just let it go. So, is blacksmithing the official family trade, then? In a way, I guess. My father said I could be whatever I wanted, but when you grow up alongside a world-famous blacksmith, your options are fairly limited. Not that I mind, though. It's nice to have skills that are in demand these days. Everybody always needs something forged, whether it's amulets or armor. So, business is good? <sighs> it's... well, it's been better. Still, we make enough to keep things going, and that's the important thing. Your forge is pretty far off the beaten path, Haley. Why set up shop so far outside Aurora? This forge is actually quite ancient. My father's 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 father inherited it from his mother's grandfather on her father's side. It was built during the Battle of Archers Pass, many hundreds of years ago. The archers were holding off their enemies from way up here, but they needed a forge to replenish their arrows. So they built one right where they stood. It helped them take Archer's Pass, and from here, they were able to liberate the whole valley. Sounds like this forge has a lot of history behind it then. Even so... Location, location, location. <sighs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. I wish it was more accessible. We'd get more business, I'm sure of it. But it's not like we can just pick it up and move it. I'll bet if you had an army of trained rats, you can move this place no problem. Uh, Fidgets, I don't think that'd help. You know, smart mutant rats with magic! Don't worry about her dust. Altitude sickness drives some creatures crazy. Fidget was pretty crazy before. Maybe we should be on our way. Need anything else? Need anything else? Thanks, dust. Don't be long coming back. incredibly well. Do you know why? I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. It's because she likes you. Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. That's great, Fidget. Really, I'll keep that in mind. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I do for you? So, let's talk. Need anything else? Anything else? Thanks, Dust. Don't be long coming back. Hi there, Maddie. Nice to meet you. Uh, all right then. 